Two themes have been prevalent at town hall meetings held by Oklahoma's congressional delegation during the August recess. The Affordable Care Act and how to get rid of it. Last week was no different when U.S. Representative Mark Wayne Mullen hosted a town hall in Wetumpka. While he decried the new health care law, border security, and the failure of the House Farm Bill, he also pushed back against something else, the lack of bipartisanship in Washington and across the nation. And if we want to get this country back, then it's going to start with our own communities. Because those that judge you the quickest, because the RRD is usually the same ones that show up and start telling me, you've got to work with other people to get things done in D.C. I'm so tired of all the bickering in D.C. Why isn't there any more bipartisanship? Well, what's going on in your own communities? How do you expect D.C. to operate different than what they're hearing from their own constituents? What's happened now is the Tea Party has morphed into something it shouldn't have become. The Tea Party was originally put in place because people were sick of both sides. It wasn't set up just to be a Republican thing or just to be a Democrat thing. It was set up because people was tired of party politics being in play and people putting party politics in front of the country and it was said, let's get our country back. That's what it was put together for. That's why it was formed. And it's been hijacked, it's been hijacked by individuals that want to be the most conservative, and the only thing they become is the most obstructionist. Because they can't even find out what they support. If you don't know what you can support, then you can't support anything. And if you can't support anything, then you're okay with status quo because the ball is never going to move. It's going to stay right in place. Right in place. This country wasn't founded with one person's idea and one person's agenda. And if it was, we would have a king and we would have a czar. We do. Exactly to some degree. But we, have, we don't have that. We have a country that was supposed to be able to work together for the best interests of this country. We know what we have here isn't working. So if we're able to move it just a little farther, it may not be as much as you want, but just a little bit farther, then we are making a difference. Because if we just say no to everything, then we're still going to be at the harbor, and we're still not going to get anything accomplished, and we're still going to be sitting there, and the whole dock might be destroyed if we don't move sometime. And the boat we are going to be on is going to sink. we got to move. And we can't move at big chunks. I said it before and I'll say it again, we didn't get here overnight and so we're not going to fix it overnight. So if we didn't get here overnight, that means it all didn't come in in one storm and you're not going to take it all out with one storm. So let's bite around the edges and continue to bite at the edges and continue to bite at the edges and continue to bite at the edges and eventually, eventually, we're going to get due east and we'll get this country back on track as long as people don't lose appetite and as long as we don't start fracturing inside ourselves and start calling ourselves by different names because we're not all willing to go somewhat in the same direction.